Hey guys, welcome back to Judo Highlights. This is one of those ridiculous videos where I look at all the epons and decide the best ones. So, the amazing stuff you're looking at at the moment uh, is just a Wazari. Wazari from Nagase here, another one from Mariyama coming up. But after this, all epons, it's about 30 or so. In no particular order except the last five. I really, really like the last five, especially the last one. It's probably one of the greatest epons I've seen in quite some time. So if you're not going to stick around for the entirety of the video, just check that last one out. It's pretty amazing. Also, make sure to give the video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and if you're feeling generous, consider hitting that join button to become a channel member. So anyway, after this beautiful wazari, that probably should have been an epon in my opinion, let's get into the epons. First one out is a really nice counter from Verstraten. He's actually in this video twice, which is pretty impressive. So this one, a lot going on. Lee enters, first encounters, bit of a grip break in the middle of it. You can see Lee trying to break that top grip off, but it just put his leg in an awkward position. And then first straight and just lifted his leg up. Beautiful, beautiful Ipon. This next one from Kotsuev, a nice Uchimata. And I think you'll see people do Uchimata a lot more like this to avoid the head diving rule. So he does a really good job of taking off his lapel hand, wrapping it around into a makikomi, and that really avoids, he can just roll over his shoulder. His head, really close to touching the mat, but because he took his hand off, he could roll over his shoulder. People are going to start doing this, for sure. This Ipon from Ida, just had to make the list. How often do you see a Japanese judoka pick someone up with an uranage? I mean, look at him. He takes two stabs at it. A lot of people would have Made an attempt on the first one, failed, but he readjusts well with the leg. And Toroboyev goes over. And this isn't the first time he's been thrown with an Uranage, so something he's got to clean up in his game. And Ida, he would have been really happy with this one. This next one, it's quick. Blink and you'll miss it. Just a nice Haraigoshi. It's hard. It's hard to do this, but I like the grip around the back. Using his shoulder to bump him over. I mean, that's really nice. That grip and that shoulder bump, that's really nice. Number 25 now. Another leg technique. This time, Uchimata from Reyes. And there's so many components here. Not the prettiest of throws, but there's so much control. Look at that. It goes in once. A couple of hops. The hand around the head, pushing downwards. Gets a bit of air time here. Good control at the end. I mean, that is hard, hard to execute. Looks simple, but it's not. Speaking of simple, I almost didn't include this one because we see it from Abe Hifumi so much. But to do Sore Surikomi Goshi like this, it's so hard. People would, their balance would break, they'd fall to their knees. The fact that he stays upright is incredible. This next one almost made it into the top five. I'm not sure why it's down here at 23, but it's just an incredible Epon. We've seen it before, lots of people do this. They surprise people with this kochi all the time. Vieru, for example. But just to throw a Saito like this, I mean, it was a big surprise. And Tishishvili, I mean, he loved it. Especially after getting beaten by Saito and the individuals. Nice to get a bit of revenge. Morao. And this is a sick Uchimata slash Ochigari. I mean, I'd just call it an Ochigari, to be honest. But two hands. On the one side, cross grip, to the lapel, pushing downwards, pulling with the sleeve, just control all the way through. And the whipping of the elbow into the side like that, I've seen that a few times recently from like Ota, he's from Tokai, Morales from Tokai, not sure if it's a Tokai thing, never felt it myself, but it looks damn interesting. There's a split second in this one, where you see Bekuri kind of float as he's changing legs, his weight, his entire weight is on his opponent. An incredible throw. Abe Uta's doing this. Maizaradzi's doing this. This grip around the back of the shoulder. It's kind of new. People are starting to do it. It's nice. And the Georgians, I think they're advancing the judo game for sure. Teddy Rainier, big haraigoshi. No one does haraigoshi like him. That's incredible. Who gets lift? Like that with a Haraigoshi. Double lapel, doesn't even have a sleeve. Still manages to get enough rotation. 
land on top. Perfect, perfect Ippon. Now Hashimoto with this one. I mean, he's doing his usual thing, pushing to the side of the mat, getting a reaction, and going in for his Seoi Otoshi, but this time, turns it into an Osotogari. And if you've ever tried Seoi Otoshi, it is hard to stand back up, let alone go in for an Osotogari. Speaking of Osotogari from the master himself, White, I mean, he just retracted his left foot, and then that put his right foot in front, Easy picking for Nagase. He was definitely waiting for that opportunity. I mean, Nagase, you put your feet in the wrong position. He will capitalize on it. Number 17. This one was nice. Just a nice sequence. Bit of back and forth. Using the kosoto to get behind your opponent. And taking several stabs at it. One, two, and now he's behind. And that makes the uranage, the entry, easy. This one here from Abe Uta. Probably one of the biggest throws of the tournament. Huge Koshiguruma by Abe Uta. I mean, it's just textbook. The grips, left hand on the lapel, hand over the head like that. Reminds me of Koga for sure, and Travis Stevens. He had a big Koshiguruma like this. Number 15. This is a, a great counter by Sadalashvili. And you just know, I mean, when Georgians, whenever they're either defensively dealing with a big cross grip over the top, or offensively, they're going to win. They know how to deal with these situations more than anyone. I guess you got to call it an all sort of gutty, right? But I mean, not much leg, just picks him up, dumps him, and he just was dominating the grips ever since that, that hand went over the top. This next one from Koga Wakana. It's a quick one. A lot of people do kochi ochi. They kind of do it both going forwards. But for this one, the kochi pulling her in and then the ochi going backwards. Really nicely done. Don't think I've ever seen it before. This next one, number 13. Got a bit of a freeze frame for you guys just to see how incredible this Ushimata is. Starts off with a bit of, bit of Ashiwaza Kosoto to stop the movement. And then this here, this is why this is in the list. It's incredibly hard to throw people with your body contorted like that. Ono Shohei, probably the master of this. But this one's pretty damn good as well. I mean, your head's pretty much touching your knee. It's incredible. Number 12, Stump. Stumping Hashimoto. I kind of I kind of had an idea that this was going to happen. He did it to Oyoshi. Just stumps got interesting now was a really sticky feet. Look at this. The Sasai picks him up. I mean, he could have thrown him doing it like that. But just to pick him up and then continue the technique. Get him off balance with the Ashiwaza and then capitalize on it. Look at this. Picks him up. Not going to throw him. But he's well off balance just to capitalize. Look at this driving. That's a great, great Ippon. Stump, he's a really good judoka. Bit of Newaza now, the only one in this entire video from Lombardo of all people. And I just like this one because of the methodical approach he takes. You can almost see Lombardo thinking through every step that he's doing. Everything has a purpose. He knows exactly what he wants to do. And that armbar went on really quick. He's just well trained. I bet he drills a lot. I bet he drills a lot of turnovers, Newaza sequences. And it's Tachiwaza as well. This one, a reverse. Kataguruma. I guess Molai kind of popularized this. But he doesn't do it in this explosive manner. And actually, I think this, this technique comes from sumo. Or maybe even wrestling. But in Japanese, I think it's called a sori. Sori nage? Anyway, that's what a couple of friends were telling me the other day. So we're into the top, top 10 now. Another one from Stump. This one, I mean, his opponent makes a bit of a mistake. Looks for a little kochi on the inside. You can see it in the slow motion. He does initiate. I'm not sure if Stump read it, but it happened at the same time. Blue goes for a kochi on the inside. And then Stump just capitalizes with the big all sorts of Number 11. 
Next up at number eight is Takato. Nice Ashiguruma. Don't often see Takato do Ashiguruma, but this is a great one. He takes an interesting grip around the back. And I mean, next time you're at Judo, give this a little try. But unless you're used to it, it's very hard to get power and, and generate kind of movement with that grip unless you're used to it. But Takato, he's been doing this for years. He knows what he's doing. Number seven, Moriyama. He had a wasari at the beginning of this video. But now I've got some ipons, and this time, stemi waza, a tomoinage, and I've never seen a tomoinage so fast before. He flattened his opponent so quickly. And we'll have a look at this one again in slow mo, because there's a really interesting point that I want to talk about. Watch him at the beginning, he pulls his opponent in with his left hand, and then he creates space. But because he pulled his opponent in at the beginning here, his, his opponent's posture is broken. And then he elongates his arm, creates space for the tomoinage. It's really, really beautiful stuff. Number six, my man, Nagase again. This time with a Ashiguruma, kind of fake, and then leading into a Haraigoshi. And just the movement he generates, he did this to Sasaki. This is definitely a thing he practices. Setting up one, leading into the other. Just getting people moving. Not a lot of judo could do this. Make people move. Nagase, he is a, a professional at it. Right, top five now. And these, these were great. These are really special ipons. Have you seen that before? Come on. I mean, we've all seen katagurumas and yoko otoshi. But to do it off the kosodo like that so quickly, man, that was nice. First straight in two, two epons in this video. Well done. This big one, I mean, it doesn't get more textbook than this. Huge haraigoshi. A little bit different to Teddy Rainier's, but I mean, this is textbook. And don't you just love big people doing big throws and planting each other into the mat? It's great. Right, number three now. Also the Otoshi, and I don't think I've seen a bigger one before in my life. You know it's a good one when your opponent, I mean they're basically bouncing off the mat, doing a bit of a, a roll backwards. I mean, have a look at this. And just great frame of mind to go for the Otoshi, not just finish the Osoto. Really planted it into the mat. Right, number two. It's my man again, Moriyama. And this was just... It's its a piece of art, you know? I mean, what he does with his stemiwaza, the fade of the foot backwards. I mean, look at his foot. You think he's going to take a step, but instead he, he just fades backwards and, and throws you. It's incredible. Just one more look. Look at his right foot. I mean, it looked like it was going to take a step, and then it didn't. It's incredible. Right, this one, my favorite Ipon of the entire World Championships. It's simple, it looks simple, but you got to remember, Tushishvili, he's a huge man. And this is a Seoinage, you really see Seoinages like this at plus 100s. And then just the footwork, and not to mention, what he does with breaking the grip here, you know, dropping his elbow down, kind of turning to the left before jumping in. I mean, it's something even lightweights struggle to do, but to just really to do that at plus 100s, it's incredible. So anyway, guys, those were my top epons from the World Championships. What do you think? I'll talk to you in the comments. Have a good one. See you later.